tired of creating the same workflows over and over and over again. Feeling like you are just drowning in project management tasks. Listen, I've totally been there. Staring at a blank page, trying to figure out where to even start with the process. But what if you could just ask AI to help you build it out? Time estimates, tasks, the whole shebang. That's exactly what we are going to play with today. In this video, I'll be showing you how ClickUp AI can take all those nitty gritty project management tasks off of your plate so that you can focus on what lights you up in your business. This video is actually a snippet from one of my free ClickUp webinars. And if you wanna join me live and get your questions answered right on the call, just click the link below and come join me and nerd out with me. Now on the example of, yes, we know we need standard operating procedures so I can hand stuff off to people, but I don't wanna write standard operating procedures. I don't even know exactly what I need to do. Let's chat a little bit about how to use ClickUp AI for project management. When we look at project management, cool. I'm all over the place. There's a whole bunch of stuff happening. And let's let's play something here. I chose to be in all tasks in this because I just I just want to talk to AI. I just want to brainstorm a couple of ideas. So let's do this. And by the way, you can talk to AI. So I'm on a Mac. I have my voice to text feature going. So let's tell it something. I have a client that hired me to build out their ClickUp. They're a SaaS company that generates QR codes to make service requests more simple. What are the tasks that need to get done to onboard this client into my ClickUp, get all the information I need from them and make them comfortable working in ClickUp? Let's see what ClickUp AI gave us. To onboard your client, we got the initial setup, creating a space for the client, correct. Take it with a grain of salt. My standard um, setup is usually we have a client delivery space and a folder underneath for the client because we really don't need that many lists. These perfectly work as a list. So having a client delivery space the folder structure is this specific client and then we set up lists. So let's play with this. Actually, my ClickUp hierarchy that I prefer is having a ClickUp space for client delivery. Each client gets their own folder with lists underneath. So we got the initial setup. Cool, we need to gather information. Awesome, what are your goals? What's your team information? What are the processes? What other tools and integrations are you using? This is actually pretty good. There's, there's a lot of things that often get forgotten that I have seen with onboarding team uh, teams and new clients where it's like, yeah, great, you're working in ClickUp, but what other things do we need to connect to it? What workflows are we building out? What templates are we gonna need? What views are we gonna need? You actually also need to train the client. You need to document all the things you build and offer support. So I love how this is not just, hey, you need to do this, but actually, did you offer them support? So it goes past just giving you the tasks, but actually gives you business advice too. And it tells you to test the setup with a small project and workflow. Yes, you need to test it before you actually automate everything. Gather your feedback, then polish it. Systemize, optimize, automate, review, rinse and repeat. My SOAR framework. If you wanna learn more about the framework on how to actually do these pilot runs and systemize your business, let me know. Got a different training on that one. Then we launch it and we monitor it and we redo the same process. Gotta love a German accent. However, the nice thing is Click up also adjusts for my accent and it knows that I'm not talking about a highway. Client delivery, cool. Folder name, list onboarding, list projects, list training and support, feedback and improvements. What ClickUp gave us here is exactly what I do. We have a folder name for the client delivery. I'm not gonna hold you up right now to pull that template in. We have a folder template with the client name. We have an onboarding list where the tasks are housed for, hey, I need this from you, I need that from you, I need that from you. And my clients get 
assigned to these tasks with due dates. We also have specific projects. So if we have multiple different deliveries, every deliverable potentially gets a new list. So if you're an agency and you say, cool, you get organic social media, you get short form and you get YouTube videos, each of those deliverables gets their own list. We also have a training and support list meaning my clients get a uh, getting started with ClickUp training. Hey, let's make sure you have the basics down. So ClickUp adjusted here perfectly in AI to give you all of this based on me telling, hey, that's actually not the list I wanna have. Now let's play with something else. Let's close this up and restart it and say, we are getting ready to up level our YouTube production to move from one video a week, week to three videos a week. Please help me put together the task management as well as estimated workload to be able to improve and adjust our weekly workload accordingly. So we need to define the workflow by planning scripts, pre-production, film. So it gave me some fairly generic information, right? I'm like, huh, okay, cool. So you researched what needs to get done. However, I actually want this based on what we are already doing. So I follow up and I say, can you please use our existing standard operating procedures and tasks as resource and knowledge to build up for this increased publishing schedule. So now I narrowed the ClickUp AI down to say, hey, this is all cool, amazing, love it. However, can we please build up on what I already have and not reinvent the wheel? So now, it says, cool, found a whole bunch of stuff with standard operating procedures and all this stuff. Yep, our general workflow is right there. We got the SOP in the company hub. We got our shorts production process. We got SOP writing and management because we do need to update that one. YouTube scripts, all the things. And now it goes into our proposed adjustment for scaling from one video to three video having the planning, scripting, filming, and editing, team roles, what's happening. You can use our company hub, that one right there, to clarify responsibilities and provide the access to the SOPs it's needed. Cool, awesome. Performance tracking, it gives us the whole thing and it gives us also next steps. But now you don't have to figure out the tasks that need to get done, you are not starting from zero. You don't have to ask the question over and over again of what now, what now, what now. You can easily create a process and a task template to get started right away. You already have time estimates right away. You don't have to start from zero and reinvent the wheel. You can just get started and then again, following my SOAR framework, go through the process of evaluating things, of testing things, of time tracking everything that AI gave you and then build up on it and polish it. And there you have it. The cool thing is you don't have to figure it all out by yourself anymore. Just be super clear with what you are asking and Boom, there you have it. You got more brain space for the creative stuff only you can do. And remember, this is just a tiny taste of what we have fun with in my free webinars. I literally show you all the stuff in real time and you can ask me questions right then and there. My next one is coming up soon. Link is in the description, so go sign up. And if this video helped you, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more productivity goodness coming up. And drop a comment below with how you are going to use ClickUp AI this week. Remember, work smarter, not harder, and let your systems do the heavy lifting.